we got the dogger pillar. It is so beautiful. You know what? Let's take a look at these mods. Roll the intro. What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got more vehicles. That makes a total of 12 vehicles today. But before we begin, make sure you guys do put it down in the comment section below. Hashtag FS Consoles. You know what? Let's get to these new mods. On all platforms, we got the Challenger MT700 series by said modding. Same Agron 375, Lizard Pallet Fork, Double Door Garage, American Shed, and Basic Pastures Pack. Also on updates, we got the FarmTech EDK500, CDK900, and an update to the Lone Oak Cow Husbandry. Okay, let's take a look at these mods. I know you guys want to see this. There it is. There it is, it's right there. The Challenger MT700 series. 19 slots, so not bad on the slot count. $147,060. Really nice, you see that dogger pillar? Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? I love the texturing on this. Sid does some amazing work. So we got that, and then we got this one right here. As you guys can see, look at that little sticker right there. Machine of the Year 2015. Uh, 2015 seems so long ago, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyways. Really nice looking tractors. You know what? Let's get into, we gotta get into this one. Yeah, let's get into this one. Okay, let's pull up the help window. Let's see, map size, horn. Uh, looks like one of the windows. And as you guys can see what happened, the cab light turns on. That's one of Sid Modding's specialties now. Look at that. Light on, light off, light on, light off. Okay, done playing with that. All right, here is the inside. Really nice. Let's turn it over. Really nice. See, look. So you can't really see the light whenever you're actually inside. Just a little bit of it. See, it flashes on there. Okay. Anyways, top speed is 26 miles an hour. And I'm already hitting stuff with it. Really nice. Okay, let's see. We got one set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights. That is it on that. We also got beacons. Got turn signals, of course. Really nice and bright. Uh, let's see, turn signals in the inside. Lights in the inside. Looks like everything works as it's supposed to. Really nice, not little tractor, really nice big tractor. And it's actually pretty cheap, so. All right, let's park it over here, turn it off. Let's close that. Where can you find these tractors? Let's go over here. Let's go under large tractors, which is actually different than the rest of this week. Because what? We got small tractors, medium tractors. Now we finally got one big tractor. Uh, let's go all the way to the very end. You know, at the beginning of this week, I did not think we were going to have 12 new vehicles for the whole week. But yeah, and it's only in the middle of the week. Wow. Okay, let's see. Options on that. We have US version exhaust 1, US version exhaust 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then after 6, it goes to the uh, seven and then to the EU, which actually changes the back too, as you see. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that. Engine setup, we have the 755, which is 300. We have the 765, which is 335. The 755B, which is 305. The 765B, which is 335. See, and it, it changes all of it. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, anyways, choice of covers. Do you have engine or engine cover? Uh, we'll set up standard, 3M, 3M row crops, 4M row crops, standard. Uh, capacity, 0KG, no mud flaps, 900, no mud flaps, uh, 2800, no mud flaps, and then back to zero with mud flaps. And then let's see, 900 mud flaps and 2800 mud flaps on that. So really nice little mod right here. Okay, so that is that one. Really cool. Okay, the next one we have is a small tractor. You go from that big thing, then you go down to here. This is the same Agron 375. 10 slots, $20,000. Uh, these look nice too. Let me get in this. Let me turn this on. Let's see if we have anything over here. There's the horn. Okay, looks like nothing on that. Tile speed is 26 miles an hour. Let's turn it over. So there it is. Hey, actually, look at the key right there. 
Key moves when you turn it on. Okay, so let's turn that on. Lights. Pedal moves over there. I think that's all. Man, this thing stops fast. Okay, beacon. One, two, three. Three sets of lights. Back lights light up when you're reversing. Turn signals. Here's first person view on it. Fun. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and try to park this without crashing. Ooh, jeez. Agate. All right, there we go. Okay, where can you find these tractors? Let's go under small tractors. All the way at the very end, there it is right there. Rim color, any color you could think of. Design, no fenders or fenders. Uh, engine setup, the 80 horsepower. You have the 105 horsepower, and that is it on that. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, rear twin wheels, and then back to standard for that one. Okay, so there's the two tractors for today. The other last regular mod is the Lizard Pallet Fork. One slot, $300. You know what, let's show these off actually in the store real quick. You can find these under miscellaneous, and there it is right there. Options on this, any color you can think of. You know what, let's actually hook this up to the small tractor. Kind of perfect we got this thing today, huh? I can actually show this lizard pallet fork off. Okay, so let's hook it up to the red one. Okay, so it goes on the back of a tractor. Uh, let me put this on real quick. There we go. As you can see, Go down like that, and you can pick up your pallets. Okay, like that. Let's see, nothing over there. Up, down, left, right. So, really nice. Okay, so there are the regular mods for today. Now let's get to the placeables, and here we go. The first one is this big one right here, and this is the Double Door Garage. Nine slots, $48,000, as you guys can see, it actually has parking spaces. I think this is the first mod actually on console that actually has parking spaces. So we got what, one, two, three, four parking spaces. Uh, let's see, how does this, oh, it actually opens like that. I thought that was the door. Okay, so it opens like that. Looks like we got light switch right there. Yep, lights all turn on. So yes, really nice mod. Got lots of room over here. Is this something over here too? Oh, okay, there's two sets of lights. Okay. All right, so there is this one. I believe the outside lights come on automatically at night, though. Uh, where can you find this? Let's go under sheds, and there it is right there. $60 a day and 360 rotation on that. Okay, so there is that one. The next one is right over here, and this is the American Shed, three slots, four thousand dollars as you guys can see really nice little american shed like the way that texturing is on those boards okay no lights in here though but where can you find this one let's go under sheds and there it is right there it's two dollars a day on maintenance and 300 degree rotation on that one okay so there are those two mods the next mod is kind of a unique mod and this is right here this is the basic pastures pack three to four slots $5,000. As you guys can see, it is open. It is completely open. So this one right here is for the cows. So let's buy a few cows. So they'll start just roaming around without no, you know, fences or anything like that. Put your water, your food, you get your milk over here, all that good stuff. Uh, as you guys can see, got like a little bit of chair with some sunglasses on it. Uh, if we go into our animal section, of course it gives milk. Uh, doesn't Clean this water, looks like no straw on this one though. So that's pretty cool. Also, the grass right here, if you're using seasons, will regrow. It will regrow and they will graze just like they regularly do. Okay, what does this pack include? Let's go to animals. And then all the way at the end, we have cow pasture, which can hold 150. We have pig enclosure, which can hold 150. And we have sheep pasture, which can hold 150. Pretty cool right there. Okay, so there is the mods for today. Let me know which one's your guys' favorite. I'm gonna have to either say the Challenger or this one right here. I like the shed. But anyways, if hopefully you guys had an amazing rest of your day. Today's schedule, 8.30 p.m. We're gonna be, of course, having a live stream, and that is it. If you guys have not checked out FS Daily News, make sure you guys do. 
Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do like always. Have it all, stay farmers. Peace.